Hey everybody, Norman and Taylor here, and we just beat the colorless, no problem. And we were guided here by a coin that we had gotten before, and it ended up leading us to this very exciting helix ring that I don't know how much we're going to use it. Uh, in fact, Norman has this ring, which is um, sad because he it's going to retire sooner rather than later. But it's really cool. So anyway, that's what we got. Looking here, uh, this is just how the scenario ended. Let's go ahead and get these guys cleaned up. Okay, uh, so a couple of things we got to do. Looks like Norman is shedding, and also he got 10 coins, or five of these, so that's going to be 10 gold notes. So we're going to go ahead and make that 17. Sorry, I know there's a glare there. And then we got 27 experience. So I need to figure out how to do that math in real life. Uh, 27 is going to be 308. So, oh, I forgot to grab my little eraser. All right, 308 is not enough to level up still. Um, 308. Okay, now we also got this item. We're gonna need to look at that in a second. Uh, we're at level six, so we can hold a total of three items. I'll have to decide if this is worth holding on to from scenario to scenario or not. We'll have to decide. Um, I did get a check mark though, not enough to get me any extra bonuses. Just the one check mark for having looted um, a treasure. And so there's that. Oh, I'll go ahead and pull these items down. So as I'm packing these up, that's an item, that's an item, that's an item. Okay. Um, all right. So here's the thing. I love that I have this. I love that I have this. But neither Crystal nor my, no, oh my gosh, I keep doing that. Neither Taylor nor myself really have ways to raise these up. Of course, we might come into a scenario where they get raised up by other creatures. But where, I don't know, I just feel like I'm going to hold on to it because it's cool, but I'm not going to be using it in each scenario. So with that in mind, we'll just go ahead and pack up our modifiers. Um, when I set up my next scenario, I'll have to decide if I'm keeping that push card or not. Obviously, it came in handy here. I, As I was setting up the scenario, noticed the trap, and I thought, yeah, we're going to want to push somebody into that trap. Um, and so that was behind my decision to keep it. And so we'll go ahead and place these here. We're done with the coins. Uh, we'll keep the figure out. We got our cubes. I, don't, I still don't really know why I make you guys watch this every time, but whatever. Uh, sweet. Okay. Norman's pretty much there. Okay, so as we're going to clean up Taylor's section, there's a lot that's going to be happening here. I just need to give you a heads up. It is New Year's Eve right now, 2019, and I have a baked brie in the oven, and that timer is going to go off in about two minutes. So at some point, I'm going to awkwardly have to pause and go take that out of the oven. And yes, it is just for myself. All right, a couple of things. First of all, we did get two check marks because, oh, it says 23. No, that really was seven, I promise, in theory. Okay, so we got our two check marks. So we're going to be able to get a perk. Um, there's that, and then we also got, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, that's right, 23 experience, that's right. Uh, 23 is going to put us at seven, 95 exactly, so we are going to level up this scenario uh, with 95 experience. So we're also going to add a card into our hand, um, and I got two gold, well, two coins, they're two gold each in my level of difficulty, so 14, no, what? Eight plus four is twelve. <laughs> yeah, intelligence. Um, okay. So, what else have we got? Oh, okay. So we need to pick a perk, and then we're gonna need to pick a level three card. So, <clears throat> a perk. I could replace one minus two card with one zero. I could add two plus ones. I could add a plus three. I always like those ones the most. Ignore negative scenario effects. Mm. Uh, add one. Plus zero. Okay, I definitely want to do one of those ones at the top. Replace one minus two with a plus zero. I think let's add let's add two plus ones. I like to get the odds in our favor as much as possible. Okay, so let me come on over here. And we're gonna add oh 
Those are the ones we're not using anymore. Okay, so we're adding two plus ones. Oh, there's my timer. Um, plus one. No, there's the other one. Plus one. Okay, hey, I will be right back. Okay, it needs three more minutes. So we'll try this in the meantime. Um, okay, so we got that. Now we need to pick a level three card to unlock or an earlier one. Okay, so this is going to let us stun at a range of three, target two. That's good for the stuff we've been doing with Norman. It's one of our level two ones. Let's check this. Disarm, oh man, this would have been helpful. Disarm one ad adjacent trap. Okay, create one stun trap in an adjacent empty hex. Wow, this could really help with the Norman stuff. Okay, so I kind of do like that. Um, an attack of six at a range of five, two experience, and a move four. Ooh, I kind of want both of those. <sighs> I think I'm so focused on the trap stuff right now because we just had so much trap drama, but we also were able to use Norman's push to take care of a lot of that. So, as much as I do like this one, maybe we'll come back to that one later, but this could get a lot of good... Oh, my I'm all over the place. This could be... This could be really good. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep that one, uh, which means that I'm not going to do it on camera, but off camera, I'll need to uh, get rid of a card. So... Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna choose one of those cards that we don't want any longer, but I'll do that before the next scenario. I won't I won't spend time doing that here. Write myself a note. And we've got all of these items here. We've got our modifiers modified. We've got our items. And, oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We've got our little cubes there. Okay. Sweet. Let's go to the map. All right. So as Norman and Taylor, we're leaving the Temple of the Eclipse. So we're going to go ahead and mark this off. Um, they came across a salesperson, probably around right here, uh, who bought them some baked brie. And it turned out really, really good. Had apricot jam and bacon, and it was wrapped in puff pastry. So, you know, pretty good stuff. All right, I'm just marking off that we finished scenario 81 in the book, so I don't forget. Oh, and we got uh, the treasure. Uh, let's see, it was 68, so here, I'm going to do that off camera so you can't see, but I just want to mark off that treasure chest um, in case I need to remember that. All right. Um, one more thing I just remembered is that we actually are going to move our scenario level difficulty up. Um where Taylor is at three and Norman is at six. They have a combined total of nine. And remember for your scenario level, you find the average, so 4.5, divide that in half, 2.25, and round up to three. And I know that some people don't like that I do this, but I am playing on easy mode. I'd rather, you know, get through this game and find the story before I die, rather than play the same scenario over and over. Anyway, so they're heading back, they had some brie, it was delicious, and um, Norman has $17 to spend. Uh, let's go ahead and do our city event before we spend our money, just to be safe, or maybe that's not safe, I don't know. All right, our city event says, sorry, you are attending, uh, whoa, you are attending to business in this shrinking market. Oh my gosh, let me try that again. You are attending to business in the sinking market when a frail, white-haired woman approaches you and grabs you by the arm. Oh my, you don't look, oh, don't you look, don't you lot look strong, she says. Could you possibly assist me with a small problem I'm having in my cellar? Her eyes grew narrow. Rats, so many rats, I don't know where they, uh, where they're coming from, but they are a right nuisance. Ruined three jars of preserves. Oh, the apricot preserves. <gasps> Did we just eat rat infested brie? Uh, just yesterday, she tugs weakly at your sleeve. Please, can you help me? Um, I don't know. I kind of want to move on with my life, but Norman's been softening his heart and, and, and Taylor, like, I think they just want more baked brie. So sure, we're going to go ahead and agree to help. I'm nervous that it's going to turn out bad. 
Uh, you smile broadly and ask the woman to lead you to her house. It is a ramshackle dwelling, half sunk into the muddy foundation, and inside there are certainly a lot of rats. You kill as many as you can, but in her cellar you find a large hole leading to a section of sewer that recently collapsed, leaving the pests wi uh, with nowhere to go. Was that us? We were in the sewers at one point. Uh, the, woman th uh, the woman thanks you for at least helping her be able to sleep tonight and hands you a few coins. Gain two gold each, and then this goes at the bottom of the stack. All right, so let's see if I can account for that. I moved my marker. All right, so we both got two, so we're up to 19 here. And 14. Not a lot. Okay. All right. Um, so that's Norman. That's Taylor. I think... Oops, that what we're going to do is Norman is just going to spend 10 coins donating to the church. And I think that's it. I don't even I don't even plan on going shopping, but as he normally does, he'll just go ahead and make that donation there. All right. So with that done, we're just going to keep this nice and simple uh, from the scenarios in the past. <laughs> I wrote a note for what I should be doing. We needed to explore the coin. And then after that, we've got these locations to go after. We can't unlock this one. Uh, or we can't go to that one because we're going to need to unlock water br breeding? Br br I don't know what that says. But it's something I don't have. It was a global achievement, I believe. So let's go to scenario 38 will be our next one. Here, I'm just going to circle that on my note. And yes. Okay, so our plan is to come all the way over here back to the Dagger Force. So... Yeah, that's where we're going to go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll record this next scenario when I want to. <laughs> Basically. Um, okay, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.